If you've ever installed software on your computer, then undoubtedly you've come across something like this during the installation. This is the End User License Agreement, or EULA. This is the place where a company is required by law to put all the information about the software that you're about to install on here so that you know what you're getting into before you even install it. This covers them legally to prevent you from suing them or accusing them of stealing any information. This is where all the legal mumble jumbo is, and there's always a ton of stuff in here. But how many people actually go through and read this? Chances are you probably don't. I know I don't most of the time. Half the time you don't even have to scroll down. Just click I accept and move on to the next page, and everybody's good to go with that. But the problem is that there are some software companies out there that will stick information in here knowing that people aren't going to read it, saying things like, you agree to let us use any information that we collect and sell to our distributors if you want to, or use it for marketing purposes, or you agree to allow us to have access to your system. There's a lot of things that can be possibly malicious. Now this one's from Malware Bytes here, so I know there's nothing unsafe within this itself, but other times you're never quite sure what's going on in here. Hello everyone, my name is Andy and welcome back to CapTech. And today I'm going to show you a program called EULA Lizer, or Eulalizer as some people call it. This is made by a company called Brightfort. They're the same ones that made the software Spyware Blaster that I did a review on a while back. This is some really cool software that'll kind of analyze these EULAs for you. Now this software is completely free and I'll put a link to it in the video description down below if you want to go. There is a pro version if you want to have some of the pro features that's there, but it's not absolutely necessary. Like pro version allows you to do like automatic updates and things like that. But here's how it works. Once you have it opened up, you'll see the main interface here. You click over here where it says analyze. Now you're going to have this plus sign button here. Now all you have to do is click the left mouse button and hold it down. And it's going to give you this little plus sign here. And it wants you to drag the mouse over the EULA that you want to analyze. And then let go of it. And ta-da, it copied the entire text of the EULA from the software you're looking at into this other text box here. Now, all you have to do from here is just click on Analyze, and it'll go through and search for known problematic phrases within the actual document itself, and then it kind of groups them by different groupings here, like without notice. This could mean something like, we can terminate your services without notice, and that could be bad if it's something you've paid for. So what you could do is you could just click on it to highlight it. It tells you the interest levels. It's about midway down here, so nothing too bad. And you can click the little arrow, and it'll search through the EULA and highlight the parts that has that sentence. Letting you know here, the license granted under this agreement will automatically terminate with or without notice from all bytes if you breach any of the terms in the agreement. So it's basically letting you know that, hey, by the way, if you do something you're not supposed to with the software you're installing, it'll terminally terminate the license you have with them. So that's just kind of lets you know what is could possibly go on. This is standard practice for software, so that's nothing really to be majorly worried about. Like under third party. Third party is something you do want to watch for because this is where they're going to give information to other people. You could say they could say something like, We're going to you allow us to give your information to a third party marketer and blah blah blah. And so these are where you would want to go through and kind of look and see if there's anything that's kind of of interest level of high. Now these are all mid-level again, and you can click on it and see what it says here. Like, you may not combine this software with any third-party script, application, hardware, or tool we can cause it to run automated, unattended basis. Basically what they're saying is, you're not allowed to use something that's not from our company that makes this run on its own. You can't you know, bypass the uh, security settings on the software using third party or it violates the license and it can terminate your agreement with them. But that's about it with this. This is a really cool piece of software to have with you if you're just one of those people who absolutely does not read license agreements. And you can go through your statistics and you can see how many times you've done scans, you know, the highest interest level that you've done. Here's the different kinds of counts that it's found here. Not too many, so, you know, extremely long, so a healthy read. It gives you a bunch of stats here and you can choose whether you do or do not want it to keep it when it closes it out and you can reset the stats too. This is more or less just kind of a for interest and you can save EULAs for future versions if you want to reread them later on just to make sure. But anyway, I'm going to keep this video as short as possible. I hope you found it useful because this is quite valuable information to be able to figure out what's in these EULAs that you're just automatically agreeing to when doing the installations. If you did find the video useful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button down below the video. Uh, if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section down below and I'll help you out as best I can. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already for future videos. Thank you guys for your time. You have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.